Hey everyone, Tenikov here. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Mars, the Space Y Challenge. Uh, we have a little bit of a task ahead of us today, as we need to get the resources uh, to finish off our initial construction over here, actually over here, and then we need to start moving some people in. All of this without the help of shuttle hubs, which we still have not unlocked the tech for. Uh, I'm going to queue up subsurface heating uh, to work our way down the physics tree and we will call for a rocket with let me just double check we're gonna need electronics for over here and this is missing polymers um, and we're gonna need a lot of concrete for this area okay concrete we should actually get once this dome is built, which is missing polymers and concrete. Okay, cool. So cargo rocket with electronics. We'll go with 30. We don't need polymers. We might as well get a couple machine parts just to say that we have them. We will actually ship out a machine parts factory proper just to have one. And that pretty much drains us on money. So I guess we will uh, throw in some more electronics and machine parts just to uh, use up what we have left. Okay, we're going to take the speed up a little bit. We're going to look for some planetary anomalies that we can complete. Five geologists is a no-go. That's fine. And we're going to think about shifting our workers to a proper factory located over here. Polymers. I guess we could automate those as well. We should be fine on water now. Eight and eight. I would. I would like to have more. We do have more uh, hyd er, moisture evaporators that we could use. In fact, we're probably going to have more people over in the Nike Dome over here who are seeking employment for that sort of thing, especially over here in the children's dome. It might be worth it for both of them to have polymers. Let's get one ready to be built at least. Uh, how's that work? Is it this? That works out nicely. Uh, we're going to want a concrete depot. Here, as well as dumping sites, and you are missing concrete. Right, we need to set up a full load from our remaining concrete stores over here. goodies, which we can land near the dome itself. We'll land them over here, and then we'll have to bring 15 fuel over as well. You can unload your resources. Research complete. Utility crops is done. We're at 70% over here, and we have cover crops right. Okay, so we're going to hold off on doing anything. We're just going to keep our rotation of some quick wheat and some soil quality improving soybeans. We have one soul until we're going to get smacked by some meteors, so it's probably good that we're finally moving outwards to go wide. We do have our prefab down, right? Yes, so let's go ahead and build that over here. That's going to be a huge drain on power. But now we can get rid of our small machine parts factory, automate with some of our electronics and polymers, which we're going to actually have to ship back, I believe, because we're out of electronics over here. But that's okay. We actually produce more machine parts already with just one work shift. We have Sector one unemployed scan. person. Anomaly found. We will get rid of this machine parts factory, that's fine. We 
might throw down another research lab. So we have new anomalies. These are scannable by us, correct? So please do. Actually, you're already over there. I can see you moving. And the meteor storm seems to be mostly up there, which is fine. So the biggest problem with needing electronics to be self-sustaining is that uh, you need machine parts to maintain the electronics plant, and you need electronics to maintain the machine parts plant. Uh, you have uh, probably picked up all of the concrete that was needed, yes. Uh, I'm not sure what is being prioritized over here. Is all the concrete gone already? It is. So we're going to come over here and pick up... Wait, no, we're gonna we're gonna stay here. We're gonna pick up some of the electronics. Select a sector to scan. We'll call 16 good. I'm gonna pause it as we get this. Uh, we're actually gonna tell you to unload your resources there. Let's queue up some more sectors to scan. We'll get this nice flat area over here as well as some of the top zones over there. All right, right back to it. Now we should have a more streamlined flow as metals should flow straight into here and get output as machine parts right here. And this dome is mostly just research and convenience at this point. One homeless and one vacant work slot, so we're almost balanced. And then over here we have one homeless and one unemployed. Kind of seems like the homeless unemployed could just move over here if neither of them have a home. Interplanetary learning. Ooh, that's fantastic. Workaholic and hippie traits are very good. Um... Increased comfort. We don't really need that at the moment. We'll get our education going in the idea that we'll replace both of these with some learn-in buildings. And you have dropped off the electronics needed to automate this, correct? Yes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Let's grab some polymers. How much, how much is over here? Four? I think we're gonna need slightly more than that. So let's grab some polymers from over here. I don't think we have the power for it anymore. Uh, but let's automate this polymer factory as well. And open it back up we might need to go ahead and start replacing some of our comfortable homes with apartments. It's not my favorite thing to do at this stage, but it's not the worst thing to do either. Right, so we're running negative one, negative 11 during the daytime. As another twister ravages our lands over here, great. Let's spread out this way then as we put down another solar array. Uh, where? So you come off here. Just sort of go in that direction. That'll work. Uh, we still seem to be mostly just limited by concrete. And polymers over here. Uh, our RC commander is actually broken. Crap, where are you? That is unfortunate. Do you have enough charge to repair? Fortunate. Let's get you over here. So we have two of our rockets. Let's launch you back to Earth. leak 
that is not actually doing anything. But that's because there's no power going through it at all. So that's kind of okay. I'm assuming we just don't have any metal. This expansion is uh, difficult to manage without your Second standard stand. shuttle hubs to go around. We'll see if that can help out at all. Uh, we've scanned up here and found some more water. A little bit of polymers on the ground. It's going to be metal and polymers. What are we waiting on? We're still waiting on just lots of concrete, which we could, again, get if we just connect this up. Uh, once we have the metal, I suppose we'll go for that. actually don't have any metal at the moment. Mostly just polymers. I think that's a metal deposit. Yes. Alright. We will bypass the dome for now. Just in the interest of expediting things. Any new planetary anomalies? No. Anyone want to trade some technology? Vector pump for live from Mars, which is funding. Uh, India doesn't care. And they don't care either. You know what? We'll do it just because it's Research complete. technology. So that got us more applicants, not more funding. Okay. 13 metal. That should get us at least to the point where we have concrete over here. That's concrete and polymer, which we have. Concrete, concrete. So I think we're going to be fine over here. Now, getting metals over here is going to be a little bit more challenging. I suppose unless we were to do something like this, then we would be fully self-contained over here with the Vista and another research site. Hmm. It's pretty tempting. I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, we will... I'm a little bugged by the uh, homelessness. So we will go ahead and make it worse for just a second. So now we have lots of homelessness. But we're going to get a quick apartment. Come on now. This is like priority alpha one. Please do. So as they pick up, it's interesting that they prioritize coming out here, picking up the concrete, going over the bridge, and then in through the other side. But that is fine. Two buildings not working due to lack of workers. All right. We have an excess of 23 power. We are now getting concrete, uh, which is probably just going to stick here unless we throw down a universal depot that can be reached by both drone hubs. Every time one gets picked, it just goes straight to the dome. Sector scanned. Anomaly A new found. anomaly up top, that's great. We're going to want to tunnel up there as soon as we can. Hopefully that twister is trapped down there. Um, so we have a place for people to work, but we still don't have a place... for them to live. These dirt devils make me nervous. Oh. You came 
down across the screen. It's too bad we can't pick up idle concrete on the map. It's a little bit of concrete. Lots over there. We just need our shuttle hub tech. That is the key. It's going to be huge when we get it. So as far as balance, we have four vacant work slots over here, but just enough people living over here, and we have almost perfect balance over here. Uh, metals extractor, you can be normal priority. We do like metal. Uh, so this outputs 100 power at night, up to 100 power, so as long as we're under negative 100 at night, we should be fine. Also metal. Research complete. Polymer battery optimization suite, so drones are more capable. Did our high or uh, er, oh we do have to upgrade them ourselves. But that's fine, we can effectively double our water output at pretty much any time we want. Um, this is an interesting unnecessary little piece of pipe. I don't think that actually gained us anything, but that's fine. Will people still make babies in this dome? Yes. There is one child, or one one female. So she's gonna be busy. This one's a little bit more balanced. So once there are homeless people, we do start to take a penalty to our birth rate. But uh, that's kind of how you'd want it, because otherwise you'd have super un er, super homelessness. So we're starting to slowly get concrete over here. Uh, we are now negative on oxygen because we have an extra dome that we are supporting. So we will get our moxie. Um, where can we squeeze you in? I'd like it over here, just closer to the drone hub. That works fine. And we have our sterling down, yes. Uh, we could get another moisture vaporator in. Sure, that's fine. Not that we really need the um, the extra water at the moment. Sector scanned. That's another top sector. Wow, there's quite a bit going on over here. But we still don't have deep scanning, deep mining, or shuttle hubs. <laughs> Keep harping on that. You know what we could do? We could go ahead and build our tunnel up. Um, it's just so hard to manually move everything around. I guess once we have the transport AI, which is in the queue, correct? Have we just not turned it on? We just haven't turned it on. So I wonder if that will help us out now in terms of, I mean, I know he'll scout the map and just pick up whatever's on the surface now, but will he also help us kind of balance our loads, sort of like a ghetto shuttle hub? Because that would be most appreciated. Uh, we do have our living quarters. We have our um, market. There's our farm. So let's see, in terms of jobs, we're gonna have 10 here. 14, counting here, 20, if you count here, this is going to be 4 more for 24, 25, 26, 28, I believe, and a, and a apartment for 24, so we won't be able to run everything at full shift. Actually, this will need less people, so we might be right about on schedule. Let's wait a second so that we can have these finish getting built a little bit more fully. This shouldn't take too long. 24 per soul. And then over here, uh, we're mostly just going to want places for people to live. We don't have access to our university yet. We'll put a school in. 
to allow our children to get nice and educated. We will low prioritize that though. Um, we will put in a playground and two nurseries. Resources are low. Playground, a nursery here, and a nursery here. We will get our um, services going, our basic services. So we're going to want a diner, or a, uh, I'm sorry, a, a space bar, an infirmary, Anomaly and a grocer. Found. And then we're going to put in some apartments in the hopes that these will be research centers. Now, as far as these go, we can build to right here, and we can build to just short. So we probably can fit a nice dome in here. that low priority, low priority, low priority, and low priority. Just focus on the dome that we started first. Two more concrete and 12 more concrete. Let's go ahead and order our passenger rocket. We are back to all amateurs. That's fine. Hopefully they're good ones. Oh, I forgot about the polymer factory as well. That's a few jobs. You know what? Let's just move it. Sector scanned. Let's move it over here. Uh, so that's a good sector. I think this is going to be our area to try to, to reach. It's going to be quite a stretch with our current technology. Research complete. Adaptive probes, don't really care about those. Sterlings, which are nice. There's our machining in robotics, which sort of makes sense from the, uh, you need um, machine parts for the electronics and you need electronics for the machine parts. Um, yeah, we'll increase the comfort with farms. That seems to be a thing that we can do. If we wanted to build just the ideal dome over here, we would build right here. And we would put our tunnel somewhere over here. So let's look into building this backwards. Perfect. So actually, I need to build it the reverse way. We'll build from here up to as far as we can. That's still quite a ways. We'll try that again. One more time. Uh, so this is actually in range. That's not the worst. We'll let that get worked on slowly. Who has hypothermia? You guys are out of power. Why are you out of power? Why are we lacking 103 power? What happened? Our colonists are some. Open all our sterlings. We'll give our domes top priority. Oops. Uh, you can be turned off, and you can be turned off. We're only at negative 11, but I suspect we're out, out of power for the night. That's troubling. A 
I must have just missed our expansion. It looks like we need slightly more than one of these per per dome that we've been building. Uh, which we'll just keep kind of spreading out where we're at. What's the best way to keep this away from everything? I suppose just building sort of a straight line. It does give us another connection to just break for no reason. Okay, so we have colonists ready to land, which does mean we're gonna need that power pretty ASAP. 88 to spare. We'll land them here. New colonists have arrived. Crop failure reported. Assuming that's here that has a crop failure, it's not really a surprise. We'll grow soybeans, and we'll grow wheat. We will actually need to pick up some food from over here, and take it to our other dome, just to get them started. And full. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Interesting that it chose to immediately discard the crops or the, the food. I assume 33 will allow our colonists to finish what they were doing though. And you are already prepared to take off. So please do go ahead. We now have some rare metals production, which is great. Uh, we will want to automate you as soon as possible. Do we have the electronics kicking around for that? Sort of. They will put themselves out of business then. And that is making us half of one per day. We're going to want another load of colonists anyway for the same area. This is also going to be the top priority in this dome. Yes, we are low on um, electronics. Do we need any over here? We have none. We have one. We definitely need them. Let's unpack a couple drones right here. We're actually also going to prioritize the solar array. This is back on, correct? Yes, needs 10 power, so we only have 33 excess until we get our other uh, solar array up and running. I think it's time to throw down a battery or two. That one's got a battery, we'll put one over here. We are also probably going to want to start building some wind. Thinking of waiting and doing it right on the other side of the tunnel, if at all possible. So Dragon 1 is of course ready. Uh, is there any trading that you guys want to do? You don't want to do technologies, that's fine. Trades? Uh, no, that is not cool. You are not cool. 50 concrete for 89 food, that's all right. You still don't have any technology and you don't trade. Well, that's just rude. Okay. So yeah, we have 
900 stored power discharging at 30 per hour. Discharging at, yeah, discharging at 30 per hour. Oh, that's just from this one. And we're about to need to maintain it. So that is some danger. These buildings are all finished, but they still need more people. What is the radius here? Sector scanned. We might want another solar New farm. Colonists have arrived. That's, that's actually fine. Do right here. Get you to work on that. And we need a little battery farm over here. Do do. Just a little bit. That's outside of the range. That's cool. We will upgrade you, but then we will turn you off as well. And you are not full of rare metals. Resources are low. Which are we missing machine parts? No, we have the machine parts. Okay, so we should be able to kickstart everything. You're ready to depart, so yes please do. Let's get some rare metals over here, guys. Come on. And we have four vacant work slots, which is perfect. Over here, six work slots, three residential, six work slots, eight residential. So we're pretty balanced. If we had shuttles, we could move everyone around, including uh, goods and resources, which that's really where we need to be right now. Let's actually get down some depots just so that we can find uh, our electronics over here. And we're pretty low on concrete as well. Do we have, we don't have an extra storage back there. This one will work for now. I mean, there's 10 left. That's all gonna be eaten up. So yeah, we're basically just stuck waiting for concrete. We could mine over here. I suppose we'll do that, but we will do it the risky way and just kind of leave our RC Explorer as the bridge. And we'll actually put our concrete depot over here. Hopefully in this way, where is our RC Explorer? Oh, not our RC Explorer, we want our Drone Command Commander. Received. No, I'm sorry, bud. You can probably just do whatever you were doing, which was not making it to this anomaly. Got a little bit of funding. Now we can send 50 food in exchange for concrete. We still don't really want to do that. Are you, you know, you're still not cool. The good news is our research is pretty good for how early game this still feels like it is. But, uh, I don't know. We, uh, we really need that shuttle tech. I'll look it up after this episode. I'm, I think it might be physics, though. Yeah, so it looks like... Our RC Explorer just can't quite make it Resources are low. over that canyon. We're low on concrete, that's obvious. If we amplify, we get Sector six scan. more per day. Anomaly found. I'm not too worried about that. And our tunnel's done over here, so let's go ahead and put a cut in here, and when we come back, we will try to expand yet again into some new territory. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll catch you in the next one.